Okay, so do you ever notice that when you are in contact with the wild dogs, vets or like any people in the animal industry will tell you to not touch the wild dogs? Or if you are a cat owner or you see a stray cat with wounds uh, or lesions on its face, uh, you are not allowed or you're not supposed to touch the cat. So the reason is because these animals might be harboring zoonotic pathogens. So what is zoonotic? So zoonotic from the word zoonosis or zoonotic disease, it means diseases that can be transmitted from animals to human. It means the animals harbor pathogens or causes of disease that can also infect humans and cause disease in humans. So pathogens can be from virus, bacteria, parasites, fungi, prions, etc. Common zoonosis in Malaysia is firstly rabies. So rabies is also known as penyakit anjing gila and it can be transmitted through bites. So wild dogs, any wild mammals, can actually be the reservoir for this rabies virus and if you get bitten by a wild dog that is infected with rabies the virus can get into your system and it can infect you so what is the effect of rabies virus on humans it actually causes problems to your nervous system the virus can very quickly travel to your nervous system and it can cause nervous problems and in really really severe cases it can lead to paralysis so second common one is sporo so it's very common for you to see cats with sporo or hear about cats with sporo but sporo is actually a zoonotic disease. The common manifestation of sporo in cats can be seen as crusty lesion, especially around the face area where the cats lick themselves and then it spread the sporo tricks fungi around. Most of the time, the wounds are like wet wounds. So when you see these signs, very very carefully, do not touch the cats with your bare hands. So avoid contact. You can touch the cats with gloves and then rid of the gloves afterwards. So sporotrix shenkai is the fungus that actually can also infect humans and it can cause problems typically to your skin so the fungi generally do not go deeper than your skin but it can still cause nodules which are bumps forming on your skin and these bumps can be itchy these bumps can be painful and if you start to scratch then you will bleed and you will then spread the fungus even more in more severe cases the, this fungi can also get into your respiratory system when you inhale it can cause sporo on your lungs and this case is considered severe because you cannot really apply antifungal on your lung so you will have to undergo surgery in order to remove the tissue of the lungs that is actually already infected with sporo so precaution is key avoid touching cats that may appear to have sporo so compared to rabies Sporotrichosis is not usually lethal because it only affects the tissue. The third one is Leptospira or Kencing Tikus. So Leptospirosis is caused by the bacteria Leptospira and it can be transmitted through contaminated water usually such as rivers. So we often hear about how you have to wash your cans before drinking because it can be contaminated with rodents urine and that can cause Leptospirosis. However, if you bathe in a river that is contaminated by rodents or any other mammals that have leptospira and you have any open wound even a small cut then the bacteria can actually get into your skin and you can be infected with leptospirosis so leptospirosis the reason why it's very very dangerous it can cause degeneration of your kidney it can also cause jaundice and it can cause fever so when you have fever your body is already immunocompromised and given that you have kidney failure at that point it becomes really really hard to treat so we call it kencing tikus but it actually does not originate from rodents the rodents are famous for it because they become the reservoir or they harbor this virus without showing any clinical symptoms but they just transmit the disease around but some researchers suggest that this leptospira bacteria is actually transmitted from bats or fruit bats so fruit bats that are also reservoir for this bacteria they will bite into some fruits and if people take these fruits and ingest them they can also ingest this bacteria and cause them to have leptospirosis uh, so generally if you are a pet owner or if you are someone who frequents contact with animals you should get the vaccines that are available for example anti-rabid vaccine for humans leptospirosis vaccine for dogs as a precaution measure prevention is better than cure so if you try your best to avoid being in contact with all these pathogens then there's a very high chance you not, will not be infected with these diseases because say for disease like rabies it is very very fast acting and if you don't detect it within time there's a very high chance that it can be lethal